are set to channel R1. We're on max power. Go ahead and save and exit. Okay, cool. So we're at 4.14 volts. Average cell. Get myself in position here. I'm using the stock patches that the system came with, and I'm only using two helical antennas. Uh, so this is a pretty standard setup that pretty much anybody can run. And we're gonna see actually how much distance we can really get with this setup. I haven't tested this in a while, so it'll be interesting to see. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing into the air. We're lifting 1,700 grams. And it looks like we're sitting at about 20. Uh, this setup here is a little ridiculous. Uh, you probably look insane wearing this. Right now I have the cross Fire link, and I've been getting a lot of interference with my helical antennas. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the antenna directly in front of my face now. And we'll see, see I'm getting some interference for sure. I'm not gonna push it too hard, but that's mostly the helical antennas that are causing that interference. So the top antennas are obviously two and four. Cruising at 100 kilometers an hour almost. At 50 amps, 45 amps. So we're about half the amp capacity right now. I'm trying to aim my head a little bit better here. Yeah, our signal's looking okay actually. Considering I only have the two helicals on it. So that's pretty impressive, wouldn't you? I'm gonna turn here, we're gonna look at my different signals here. Yeah. Yeah, not so bad. Crossfire's doing okay. The video signal's a little crunchy. Uh, but that's not so bad either. The video and the image looks okay. Let's turn back around. So that's where I'm standing down here. And I face the antenna in the right direction. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, so we made it here pretty easily. Uh, we still have half the battery left. Let's go ahead and ride this ridge line. I hope with the new antennas I can uh, get some better, or at least less interference. I mean, you can see I have really good signal on my helical antennas. So the patch antennas obviously could do some work. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at lithium ion packs for long range cruising. I have a 4S a 5S and a 6S. Now we're going to be running a few simple tests that include hovering and looking at what...